What's going on guys? Today we are finally, finally wrapping up, well, kind of wrapping up the build on the 94 CR250. When I hesitate to say finally because I know winter's coming up and I'm gonna be bored, so there's gonna be a lot to do to this thing, so I'm gonna save some stuff for that. Um, I kind of, throughout the last videos, kind of explained that like this is gonna be a never-ending build process where I'm always gonna be trying to source factory parts and like era correct factory parts from that time and search is always gonna continue because parts for these are very hard to find. Uh, for instance, I wanted to do an OEM clutch and front brake setup because the ones that came on it were um, aftermarket and I'm just kind of an OEM guy. So just these alone were not only hard to find but very expensive, just these were $200. So that was an awesome purchase and it took like six weeks to get here. So that's kind of also the story behind why I've been lacking on uploads but we're gonna do that today. Uh, I got a chain for this thing. The chain that came on it wasn't bad, but um, just for the sake of hearing on the side of caution, I'm gonna go ahead and throw that on. Um, miscellaneous parts, you know, kind of spread across the bench that we're gonna be putting on. Uh, the guys over at Mountain Moto Co. helped restore this. I don't know if it's like an old factory pipe or just a pipe from that time, but it's got the old Pro Circuit logo, so I really wanted to kind of keep this thing um, prominent in the build and just resurface it and get it as clean looking as we possibly can, so. I think this bike had been in the woods a couple times, so there were some dings, but you guys over here at Mountain Motor Cat on Quarter Lane were able to get it looking pretty nice. Uh, didn't really need to do anything to the silencer, just clean it up a little bit, um, which I still have to clean that old grease off. But the thing I'm most excited about SKDA, um, you know, they've been helping the channel a lot in the past years, but they stepped up and did a kind of old school Cam Supercross looking set of graphics. Um, this whole era of racing was um, I don't know, one of my favorites, so I'm stoked to have that incorporated in the build, but got the Cam Supercross, super cool logos. I added Trolley designs on there because obviously I've been Trolley guy for the last like 14 years. Old school 100% logo, my favorite, the Coors Light <laughs> in Pro Honda Oils. Um, old school Dunlop stickers, and yeah, should look pretty sweet on this thing, so I'm um, just going to keep buttoning it up. So there's a lot to do, but I mean, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, just gotta fill it up with fluids, bolt track everything, and put the graphics on, and obviously add those parts that I just mentioned. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this thing on a tripod, and we'll uh, get to work. Actually, I lied, before we get into the time lapse, uh, if you remember, in the last video, this number plate didn't line up right. Oh, also, I tore the bike apart. I just picked, took the <laughs> tank off just so I can, because um, I've been going like kind of finger tight, not crazy, because I didn't want to like torque spec everything as I go, um, kind of save it for the end. So. Just to get every to every nut and bolt, I just took it apart so I can do that. Um, but this didn't line up properly, um, so I went ahead and opted on SolidWorks and designed a little uh, adapter, just kind of get myself an oval here to have a little bit of relief. But um, I got a new printer, which is pretty badass. It's uh, prints in like a carbon fiber PLA. Um, so instead of just a plastic, it's kind of got like a reinforcement to it. I don't know if you can see the threads in there, but it's actually tappable. So it's not the strongest threads, but good enough for what we're doing here. I wouldn't trust it for um, anything that you know bears any weight, but just as a mount that'll kind of slip in behind the number plate. I think that's a good solution. So anyways, um, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and torque everything and we'll start putting the pipe on, um, chain, pegs, uh, just start buttoning everything up and then I'm really excited for this graphic. So we'll get to that in just a minute. Alright, so pretty far along. Like I said earlier, I took the tank off and some of the other parts I haven't tightened the seat down yet because I know I'm going to take it off to do the graphics, but 
Took a tank off, uh, torque spec everything. Um, there's actually a pretty reasonable amount of info on the internet about you know torque specs from even bikes this old. But I'm eager to get these graphics on. Um, I'm waiting on a couple other things. Um, I was actually gonna ride this later today, but push it off to next week just to make sure that everything is completely buttoned up. Um, one thing, I did end up using the old chain. I don't advise it with that, but the new chain that I got was black and I just wanted a gold chain. So that's just something I'm gonna have to change down the line. Um, these guards, the works connection ones, I'm not too sure if I'm sold on them yet. Um, I don't know, I just got the frame repowder coated white, so it covers it up, but I don't know, I'm pretty sure these guys used to run those back then and it'll, you know, obviously save it from getting wear and tear from my boots. Pipe turned out awesome. Um, I do want to replace this cover, like I kind of keep mentioning, um, as time goes on, I'm gonna to try to source parts here and there. Uh, just for now, I'm eager to get this thing on the track and get some laps on it, but um, later down the road, I'm definitely gonna, you know, look into stuff like that, try and get factory parts, Try maybe even try to get the suspension coated. Um, I did see some pictures where the hubs were black also, so that might be a route that we go in the wintertime when, you know, it's not riding season. But yeah, I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm so eager to get these graphics on and see what they look like. The front brake, that's one thing that I'm waiting on. There is, I'm assuming there's supposed to be like some sort of collar or washer in there. Um, so I just am making my own design really quick and it's printing right now. I just don't want any slack in there. And then, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'd probably throw this discard on again just because they look kind of cool. But again, I kind of left it off to do the graphics. Gonna put this back on. Other than that, I think I'm just gonna put the graphics on, throw the front brake on, and fire it up, see if it runs, see if there's anything else we need to go over. Before. Awesome, in my opinion. Um, really stoked on the way everything turned out. It's a little tricky with these um, with these decals, just because Sam from SKDA um, and I kind of agreed that it looks better if it's like OG, like the old style, like it's basically just the cutout of the logos instead of like a whole shroud. It just looks more genuine and um, I guess true to back then. So it's a little tricky. Like these are just kind of randomly placed. So I was just kind of using an old picture of McGrath's bike too. I had everything out. These are uh, a little different. <laughs> just huge dumb muffs on the side. I forgot that those are even there. Um, got this little AMA logo. But yeah, everything went on super easy. It's just, like I said, a matter of kind of lining everything up, placing it right, and um, just looking for a little bit of guidance in doing that. But now I gotta do this side. Um, I think after I wrap up with this, I'm gonna, that part that I was printing is done. I'm gonna throw some coolant in it, check the oil, and He's still got a little bit of gas in it, so fire it up and ride it on the street a little bit and should be ready to rip next week. All right, she's all finished up. Um, like I showed the graphics before, um, I mean, not much more to show. Uh, I did add a little 100% of the fender and then we got this non-pipe side all dialed in. So I just changed the oil. Um, didn't Probably didn't need it, but we did it anyways. Fill it up with coolant, so let me see if it starts now.
scared the shit out of me. You probably see it right here. There's like, I thought it was like a gasket coming apart or like something coming out of one of the drain plugs, but it feels super, super sandy. So I'm assuming from the previous owner, maybe he went to some sand track or I don't know, maybe it was something uh, from sandblasting the frame before it got powder coated, but that scared me. I literally thought that we were gonna have to take the motor back apart and or back out and then get it taken apart. So, she runs. Let me go take it down the block for a little bit. So I